everyday bullshit. Uh, there is just a fraction of what's there. And so, usually you kind of undertake a search to find uh, what you think is real and what isn't, what will verify the experiences you've had, you know, taking these drugs. <clears throat> and what doesn't? And the tarot, the tarot isn't LSD, but, uh, LSD and the tarot are both involved in the self-realization. The idea I got from the tarot, one of my favorite cards, and it's hard to explain to me as a culture, is the Sometimes I project into my myth, follow me, and describe people in particular times. I think it represents the truth or an aspect of the personality, the evolved personality, where it's reached not the final degree of enlightenment, like you can't call him really a master, but, but uh, yet he's attained a degree of wisdom or rule of knowledge, sufficient that he has a responsibility. And, uh, so, just about every second out. Uh, I don't know how many times I've dropped it. I could probably estimate about it. Most of it's been a waste. Most of it's just been a burden on my nervous system, frankly. Maybe the 150 doses you know, trips I've taken can really stand. Can really were psychedelic experiences. I just didn't take enough or I took too much in the wrong place. You can really goof and take it. That's for sure. If you're in a hung up state and you take them, I mean, it, it's going to focus right in on it. Usually. You have what is called a bum trip, but it just means you get swept away by some re unresolved aspect and you can't get through it. Bum trips are all kinds of things, but they can really be avoided. Well, Psychedelics, yeah, that's another good thing about them. They turn you on to levels of play that you'd never have the hair, you know, to uh, break your facade to do. And you need it. It's in the organism. You need to play. You need to just get up and nudge your pal, you know, and go through a couple of move, 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 move. You know, and shit like that, making faces. Psychedelics, if you, if you relate to them as a sacrament, you will have the experience more times than not than you would expect of a public sacrament. Like when I had my first communion, I waited, you know, and I got so primed. I was seven years old, and I went, uh, and got the host and swallowed it, and I sat there and waited, and the priest said, give me a nudge, and because we're a bunch of good jackets, because nothing happened. But I can guarantee it, man, if you take a psychedelic, something will happen every time. Heaven or hell, it's all within you. You know, there's nothing in the LSD that isn't in you. It's all it is in the cow. I think these are times where, if we're going to survive on a very large scale, we have to uh, stop acting blindly, you know, acting by impulse and by, on an ego level and uh, investigating what we really need is the whole being and act in accordance to the needs of the species rather than what the uh, TV says. And mostly in terms of what you consume and what you can afford and what you are. And that's definitely great. That's very good. Brotherhood of man. Probably. Yeah. That belief is probably due in part to ask because I've experienced it. Or I felt that I was experiencing some incredibly real living link between myself and the rest of the human organism. And I believe in that vision. And acid definitely does that. It cuts away the bullshit. 